After nearly a decade marked by a sequence of slowly evolving processors, increased competition is finally leading to more innovative designs. Fierce competition between Intel and AMD means faster CPUs released in ever shorter life cycles as the companies compete to outdo each other. And the latest CPUs to enter the fray are Intel's 12th gen core processors. Codenamed Alder Lake, these follow just seven months after the 11th gen launch and almost a year to the day after AMD's third gen Ryzen launch. However, whereas Intel's 11th gen was a refinement of the previous 10th gen, which in turn was a refinement of the earlier 9th, which in turn was, well, you get the idea, 12th gen CPUs mark a fresh new start for Intel. So let's take a closer look. And keep watching this video for details of how you could win one of these epic processors with SCAN. For the first time in a PC, Intel's 12th gen processors have a hybrid architecture made up of two distinct types of cores, each optimised for different workloads. First you have the performance cores, or P cores, which are tuned for single and lightly threaded code as is typically used in games and productivity applications. And then there are the efficient cores, or E cores, which are tuned for background tasks such as security suites and multi-threaded applications such as rendering. The really clever bit is that sitting between these two types of cores and the OS is what Intel calls a thread director, which intelligently allocates threads to the appropriate core, the whole process happening automatically with no user interaction required. While the P cores and E cores share the same access to a huge level 3 cache, system memory and I.O., they each have their own pool of level 2, so they're functionally independent. And speaking of memory, 12th gen introduces support for DDR5 up to 4800MHz, although it does also support DDR4 up to 3200MHz. I.O. has also been given a boost with support for PCIe 5 adding cards, although the M.2 slot only runs at PCIe 4. All these new features mean that 12th gen CPUs have a new socket with considerably more pins than their predecessors, communicating with the motherboard via a dense array of 1700 connectors versus the 11th gen's 1200. There's also built-in support for Thunderbolt 4, 2.5 gigabits Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6E in the new Intel Z690 chipset, although it'll still be up to motherboard manufacturers how they implement these. Unfortunately, I've just been reminded by the lawyer standing just off camera that I'm not actually allowed to show you this graph that reveals how awesome 12th gen processors are until the 4th of November. So for the purposes of this video, we've had to blur it out. But if you tune in next week, you'll get the full spec and benchmarks run down. In some ways, the switch away from a uniform core design to a hybrid core design makes it hard to compare 12th gen with 11th gen core processors. Now, whilst you could argue that the new P cores are broadly similar to the old uniform cores, for the sake of clarity, we've separated them into three separate rows in the table. This allows you to more easily see that whilst the number and variety of cores may have changed, the fundamentals remain the same i.e. Core i9 processors have the most cores and threads, Core i7 a few less, and Core i5 the least. For instance, whilst the Core i9 12900K and Core i7 12700K both have the same number of P cores, the Core i9 has double the number of E cores. As mentioned, we're giving two lucky viewers the chance to win one of these new Intel 12th Gen Core processors. All you have to do to be in with the chance of winning a Core i9-12900K or a Core i5-12600K is click the link in the description which will take you to our Gleam competitions page where you just need to let us know what the difference in cache size between the two CPUs is for your free entry. As mentioned, we'll dive into more details on the specs and all important real-world performance data in our follow-up video. In the meantime though, you can head over to the SCAN website where you can browse the range of Intel 12th gen CPUs plus compatible motherboards, coolers and memory. Our Epic 3XS systems team have also been busy creating a new range of gaming PCs and workstations powered by the new 12th gen CPUs, so make sure that you check those out too. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below which of the new 12th gen processors you're most interested in and why.